Hello guys! We think it's safe to say that Pep Guardiola has been considered the best, or at least one of the best football managers in the world for years now. His teams give fantastic performances and always win at least a couple of big trophies, but none of that would have happened if the Spaniard had not been a master of creating discipline within his teams. The success of Pep's players is largely due to the coach's prohibitions, which sometimes even reach the point of absurdity. But they certainly bring the best results. Today, we are going to have a look at the five main prohibitions of Guardiola. Give us a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and sit back as we're about to start. This is a well-known story. In the 2015-16 season, Leicester's head coach Claudio Ranieri promised that he would treat his boys with pizza if they could withstand the competition of top-notch teams and hold on to win the English Premier League. With such an unusual motivation, the Foxes got the job done, sensationally taking the gold medals. Though for Guardiola, paltry examples mean nothing. Pep is a big opponent of pizza, and therefore the favourite dish of millions is strictly prohibited for his teams. It is clear that Guardiola's dissatisfaction is primarily due to the fact that, while eating pizza, the players quickly gain weight, and as a result, are not able to meet the coach's expectations during training sessions and games. After taking the helm at Manchester City in the summer of 2016, Pep kicked off the preseason with a post-vacation check on the footballers. Samir Nasri became the manager's first victim. The Frenchman was found to be overweight and gradually fell out of favour with the new coach and was sold to Turkey. Subsequently, going against Guardiola's demands is a defeat from the start. Guardiola's second unusual ban is fruit juice. The Sky Blues coach is opposed to players drinking anything other than water. The Spaniard is sure that the sugar in fruit juices has a bad effect on the bodies of his players. By the way, this also applies to the coaching staff. Pep does not allow his words to be at odds with his deeds. There are no double standards here and the players will not see the coaches not obeying their own rules. Instead of juice or any other drinks, Guardiola recommends that his guys eat fruit in its most natural form. No, this is not fiction. Five years ago, Man City's Gail Clichy confirmed that the club actually had this restriction. If your weight is too high, you're not training with the team. You hear it a lot, but for my part, it's the first time any manager has really done it. Pep cut out some juice and, of course, pizza, and all the heavy food is not allowed. Now that is the price of success. Playing under Guardiola is also about giving up many pleasures. One of Pep's most painful vetoes is the use of Wi-Fi. In some areas of the Manchester City training base, internet access is completely closed so that players are not distracted from work and do not disappear on social media platforms. The matter is, Guardiola is pissed off by the footballer's attachment to the internet. The Spaniard can't stand when his players go into virtual reality and forget about live communication. Particularly attentive Instagram users following Manchester City footballers must have noticed that their idols never write stories from training sessions. During these hours, they completely disappear from the outside world and obey their head coach. The thesis that the manager should be not only a mentor for the players, but also the best friend and father is somewhat true, but it does not fit the case of Guardiola. Pep sets many different embargoes and thus separates himself from the players. But how can you get angry at whoever helps you win a mountain of cups every year? This means that Guardiola is doing the right thing and his limitations are worth enduring for the sake of higher aims. Forget food and the internet, Pep can even be annoyed by the look of the players, and he is not afraid to make adjustments to such issues. When arriving at Man City, the Spanish coach forbid everyone on the team 
to have extravagant hairstyles in the style of Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba. It's just that Guardiola likes no oddities, far from generally accepted standards. He prefers order and tactics on the pitch and in everyday life. According to Pep, taking care of your hair, showing off and attracting unnecessary attention means distracting from what is really important, that is, achieving goals during matches. Then again, how often do you see weird hairstyles on the citizens' players? Almost never. Kyle Walker, Ilke Gundogan, Kevin De Bruyne, Phil Foden, Gabriel Jesus and many other performers of the team have their hair cut in a normal way and without unnecessary detail. Apparently, the only guys allowed to deviate from the rule are Jack Grealish and Raheem Sterling. Pep is surely closing his eyes to their disobedience, although it is quite surprising that both haven't yet had their head shaved. Now we arrive at the most delicate topic. If you've never heard of this, then it's time to fix it. Guardiola's obsession reaches the point that he interferes with the privacy of his players and forbids them to have sex after midnight. According to Joseph, it helps footballers to perform at their best and avoid muscle injury. Who do you think told him about that? Exactly, Samir Nasri. For Pep, his players' sexual activity must take place before midnight in order to get a good night's sleep, even if they are free the next day. Guardiola said that he placed this rule on Lionel Messi and his muscles have improved since. He told us that this is how he managed to get the best out of Robert Lewandowski too, and for them to avoid the maximum number of muscular injuries. Nazare told L'Equipe a few years ago. No indulgences, even for the great Leo Messi. Imagine how angry the wife of the Argentinian Antonello Rapuzzo was when Pep introduced this rule while working at Barcelona. How could Guardiola control that? Believe me, he had his own methods. In 2013, El Confidencial published a shocking article from which it became known that Joseph appealed to a detective agency, hiring professionals to spy on Gerard Piquet. At that time, the Barca defender was having an affair with Shakira and Guardiola felt that the relationship with the pop diva negatively affected the defender. Pep wanted to know everything. In what places the couple spend their holidays, what they eat and drink, and when they return home. In addition to Pique, other famous players such as Samuel Eto'o, Ronaldinho and Deco were also under surveillance. Over time, the Barcelona players began to notice that someone was constantly watching them. Though the club's management convinced them that they were just intrusive representatives of the press. Guardiola, of course, didn't admit anything either. Sure, that was too much, but luckily in Bayern and Manchester City, there seem to have been no such stories around the name of Pep. And this is pretty good, as he clearly didn't recognise that this measure was going too far back then. All in all, none of this negates Guardiola's coaching genius. His methods of work can be surprising, if not intimidating, but they are effective, which matters most. We hope that Pep can continue to conquer the world of football. Friends, don't forget to leave a like on our video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Write in the comments below about what topics we should make videos on in order for us to meet your needs. The Top Football Channel was with you. Thank you all for watching and bye-bye.